Hello, and welcome to the EdTech Bytes screencast series. My name is Rebecca Rust, and today I'll show you how to add transparent overlays to busy images. This skill will enable you to create clearer messages while maintaining a professional style. There are many uses for this particular skill, whether in web design, videography, or even print work. By the end of this two-minute video, you will have learned how to create an empty layer, create a text layer, name a layer, alter the opacity of a layer, create a rectangle fill shape, change the color of a fill shape, and save your work as a specific file type. So let's get started. Pixlr Editor is offered as a free browser-based image editing tool. To use it, just navigate to pixlr.com editor in your web browser. There are many features offered in this tool, but today we'll focus on shapes and opacity. Let's open up an image file from our computer. My image is named Paperclip Drawing. As you can see, this image is colorful and busy. It's hard to keep the eye focused on a specific point. If I wanted to add text to this image, it would be even harder for the viewer to see. In order to make this text more readable, we're going to create a fill shape that sits in between the background and text. Before we can create a shape, we will have to create an empty layer. In the right side of the screen, you will see the Layers toolbox. Click on the small icon for New Layer. Our new layer has now been created and given a default name of Layer 1. Let's rename the layer to Overlay. Double click on the name of Layer 1 and type Overlay. Then click anywhere outside of that text box to confirm the change. Now that we have our overlay layer created, let's add a fill shape. Select the drawing tool from the toolbox on the left hand side of the screen. Change the fill color to white. and then click and drag the shape onto the canvas. Go back to the Layers toolbox and click on the Toggle Layer Settings icon. Adjust the layer opacity to 75. Now we are ready to add text. Click on the Type tool and then click anywhere on the canvas to start editing text. When you're done altering the text, click OK. If you find your overlay isn't opaque or transparent enough, you can always go back to the Layers toolbox. Select your overlay layer and adjust the opacity. Once you're done with your image, you can go to the File menu and click Save. Name your masterpiece and choose the format you'd like to save your image as. Click OK, and a system window will pop up asking where you would like to save the file. Click Save, and you're done! Pixlr has many other tools available via the web or mobile devices. Thanks for watching!